Good morning guys, welcome to Life with Lena and if you guys are new here, please click that red subscribe button down below and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. So I'm currently making breakfast in the kitchen. I'm gonna make some avocado toast. I have some of that tomato basil bread from Panera and then I had some avocado, so we're gonna have some avocado toast today. Something a little different and then some cafe. I also printed out a recipe of the caramel cake I wanna make and for the cupcakes, I'm gonna make some strawberry cupcakes. So we're gonna make that. I think I actually wanna get started on that before my sister even gets here. She's gonna be leaving her house soon, but hopefully I could get these done. How long do they take to big oh big for 25 minutes well okay um okay well we could just make the cupcake part i guess now oh my god we're gonna get started on making this i need some strawberry preserves or jam or whatever i got that fresh strawberries got that vanilla extract flour salt baking powder sugar egg whites ooh, unsalted butter um pink food coloring and milk i think we could get that ready soon okay i'm just gonna put the oven on and then I'll start making that. That way I could get at least one thing done before my sister gets here. Sorry guys, you guys are like looking down my shirt. So I could get one thing done before my sister gets here and then when she gets here we could go to the grocery store to get what I need for the cake and then we can bake the cake. But that way one thing is already done baking because I don't want to bake two things at once. I find that they just don't bake evenly then. You know, It's not a double oven and when you have more than one thing in there, they just, they don't, I find that they just don't bake even. Okay, it looks like coffee is ready. It's just gonna get some hazelnut um, creamer in there. And then let me check on my tomato basil bread. Don't want it to burn. All right, let's flip it over to the other side a little bit. Guys, avocado toast on this tomato basil bread from Panera Bread is a freaking game changer. It is so delicious, guys. Okay, so this is how the cupcakes turned out. I didn't add any food coloring because I just didn't think it was necessary i mean why would i need to add in food coloring you know like they're just strawberry flavored and i'll have like pink frosting though that will have a little bit of food coloring but i think they look pretty good um <laughs> that one's like overflowing but i just uh, don't know how they taste yet okay guys we are going to dollar tree in the grocery store we have some stuff to pick up to make my cakes i asked Pauline if she missed me vlogging and she said no she misses her music because I just turned it off so I can vlog. But we're going to Dollar Tree because I have to fill up my balloons with some helium. I got the number two and six and hopefully none of these have holes in them because I read some of the reviews and some of the re reviews just say that they got balloons with holes in them. So hopefully mine don't because I don't even have time to get new ones, you know, and I, like how do you even decide if you have holes in them when you're pretty much filling them up like the day that you need them, you know? Yeah, you don't fill them up really ahead of time. So it's like, yeah. how am I supposed to order more? Can I ask one question? What? A better question? What's a better question? Did you guys miss me? Did I miss you? <laughs> they missed Sorry. me! Jeez, what Maybe they miss you, I don't know. But they don't see you that much. They, they see you less than they even see Andre. They see Andre more than they see you. That's true, but I'm not, because I don't, like, you hang out with them more. No, I don't! You do? Well, because you guys told me I can't be at your house anymore. I didn't never said that. I'm it's just not kidding. Me casa, anyways. Can I go I know, way? I know. But we're gonna be hanging. We're gonna be hanging out a lot more soon when you get your house. See. So there's gonna be a lot to do then. Guys, my balloons are ginormous. <laughs> oh, if we put them in the back, they're gonna fly all over the place. Put one in here, maybe at least. Can you help me? You got it. Oh my god. Wait, I can't even see what I'm cameraing. Is that even a word? The screen thing is so weird. Wait, so how are you supposed to do it without hurting it? Good job, good job. The battle of the balloons <laughs> versus person. Guys, the dollar store charged me $10 to fill those balloons. That was pricey. Yeah, but I'm not surprised. I mean, I know there were big that's balloons. A dollar per balloon, though. I know, but that looked like what? Four balloons, maybe. Okay, I guess that's pretty More. accurate. Really? Okay. One was like four balloons, at least. That's what I'm saying. One was like four balloons. So it I think like $8. Right, $10. Okay, fine, whatever. But like, I didn't buy their balloons. I just used their helium. Okay. Yeah, so helium, I don't think it's super cheap anymore. Well, anyway, it cost me $10 to fill those two balloons. They were big, though. Oh my God, I feel <laughs> and they didn't come with, like, a string, which is stupid. So the guy, like, I guess he also gave me string. He ripped off the string from another balloon, so I guess I kind of did, like, waste one of their balloons, two of their balloons. 
I guess that makes sense now. Anyway, we're going to the grocery I'm store now. Gotta get some stuff for some cake making. We ran into a situation. My let my number two is deflating, so it looks like there is a hole in that one. Unfortunately, that sucks. So we gotta go take photos and I don't even have makeup on. Best thing ever just happened. It was hilarious. <laughs> So let me tell you the story guys. So I took my 26 balloons as you guys can see I no longer have them on me. We were taking photos. My two was deflating you guys knew about that So and you my know what happened a bird ran into it and it started deflating and it flew away <laughs> That was a pretty good story though, but that's not what happened So the two kept deflating um, and then the six like we were taking Oh, I thought you were calling somebody. We were taking photos and I was like running and then the six like ripped off of the string and that one flew away and that one went crazy flying because that one was filled up with crazy helium. So then I just let the two go but I ordered another two and a six on Amazon so that was supposed to come in on Saturday um, just in case I need it. But we did get some good photos before that so at least that's good. And then this happened to my foot flop. <laughs> so I am not wearing anything on this other foot right now because my flip flop broke. I went to go take photos for my sister and I like tripped over a rock and I almost like, I yeah. saved your camera though. Thank that God, camera almost like would have hit the tree like cause I was right next to a tree and I was holding the camera and it almost would have hit the tree but it didn't. I saved your camera and I broke my flip flop instead but it's okay. They're only like six dollar flip flops from H&M. Um, but yeah, that's what happened guys. <laughs> It was fun though. It was fun taking photos and stuff. We did get some good ones. And then me and Polina made a decision that once a month or if we go once a month we have to go to like at least three different places or at least once a week to go somewhere and just to take photos. Which means by the way Polina, every time you go ice cream if you just want lifestyle photos, you gotta invite me. I gotta take your photos, girl. I know, I also want photos of John and stuff. No, oh, that's rude. No, 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 I'm saying me. I want him like in the photo, so you still gotta take the photo. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, what about my family pictures? Who's gonna take those? Oh, I'm gonna take your family photos. Yep, we're gonna be each other's photographers. I, that's what we're gonna do, guys. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, so that's what happened. Now we're going home. Oh, I also like scratched my foot. I you kind fell of like on yourself like ten times. Yeah, I did fall on myself like ten times. It's just that kind of day. Um, but right here, if you guys can see, like my skin is coming off. I was trying to take a photo, and my foot fell in between the bench on the wood, and it, that's what happened. So because the 26th is supposed to be my lucky birthday, I'm thinking that we're just getting all the unlucky stuff out of the way so that my 26th birthday could actually be lucky. Right? Right? That's, yeah, what, that's exactly what's all happening. In your thoughts. No, I'm not thinking anything. I'm just saying this. All the bad stuff is happening now so that yeah, on my birthday. Yeah, but maybe when birthday, your balloon flew away, you were like, oh my god, why is everything bad has to happen to me? Why is this happening on my unlucky birthday? And then you broke your flip-flop. No, I wasn't that upset about the balloon. Oh, okay. I let the other one go too. You like you were. Well, at first I was like, oh no, my balloon. But, you know, then I just let the other one go. I was just Why are you guys on manual focus? You guys are supposed to be on automatic focus. Hello? What's happening right now? Automatic focus. Okay. Hopefully I wasn't focused that whole time, but I don't know. Anyway, so we're going to go back home now. We have some baking to do, guys. I decided I'm going to make just a vanilla cake, not the caramel. Caramel cake will probably just make for Polina's birthday or yeah, something. I can't see anything here. But I'm going to make a regular vanilla cake just so I can actually decorate it because I really just want to decorate my cake. Guys, you guys see that sign on the street? That one right there? We saw the person run over it before. It was great. <laughs> It's a sign, we just passed it. Yeah, we don't understand how you run over that, but the guy that was in front of us, like he was driving like curvy and stuff. Yeah, like I it think was he started driving curvy afterwards as a check if his wheel was over. Oh, uh, maybe. But I don't know, it was pretty pretty funny watching that. <laughs> we just like oh you know, we went over, it's like, oh no more sign. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how you do that. I've never ran into a sign like that before or any cones or anything, but who knows? Anything could happen one day, right? <laughs> okay, so we're Baking this uh, pizza, we don't really know if we're supposed to pre-cook the dough or not, but we're just, it's, we're happens. throwing it in there. We don't know what we're doing. Wait, wait, I think we should put it on a high degree. Yeah, let's put it on 400 then. But yeah, we just threw some toppings on there. There's fresh mozzarella, shredded um, Mexican cheese, basil, some of this marinara sauce. Um, no meat, because we didn't, we didn't have any. And um, what else is on there? Oh, peppers and onions. That's it. All right, close her up. We got 400 degrees. Don't know how long to bake this for, but I'm assuming at least 15 minutes. 
is sharp. So at least, okay, we'll check on it again after that. So here's our pizza turned out. Looks pretty good. <laughs> uh, our mom's mom tried the first pizza already. She just robbed it, but we didn't even, we were gonna test it to see if it's good, but it's all cooked through, so we're good to go. And then I just finished making the cake batter for my vanilla cake. Guys, promotion for my sister right now. We are printing some stuff for her um, for like this bridal expo. Um, at beautyiconnewyorkcity.com if you guys need your makeup done or hair. They do hair too. And don't you guys love my photo there? Yes, before and after. So, you pick yeah, <laughs> I, I just picked myself. I, I created this. I designed this, guys. So now we're cutting it, I'm printing it, cutting it um, for my sister. I'm packing them in these clear cellophane bags for her. Like hey guys, my, my cake my is in there. Look at that. We also got some more frosting in there for buttercream. What did mom, what did mom find? Oh, she found another spoon. My mommy just keeps eating the frosting. The um, it tastes like marshmallow fluff, really, but it's so good. It's like whipped cream and fluff. I don't know everything all <laughs> You like it? She goes, "Is this a two? <laughs> That's funny. Hi, Cuba. Hi, baby. You liked it too, huh? Yeah, you did. You want some? There you go, Koopa. There you go. We give you all the good <laughs> stuff. <and> frosting. <laughs> guys, Polinka is sleeping over. We're having a sleepover like we used to so all the time. Fun. Mine is delicious. We just made matcha lattes, guys. Yeah, we'll be a sweatshirt. Let me try yours. We have two different recipes, guys. So Polina's is sweeter. Well, yeah, now now it is. I love mine. Mine's so good. Yours isn't bad though either. Yours is pretty good. Send me your recipe because I'm making a matcha latte video. Okay. Okay? We'll do. Okay. Sounds good. Okay guys, we are going to bed now. Um, should I put an alarm on my phone? For nine. Nine? Okay, sounds good. Um, Polina's going to bed in her old bed. It's nice to have you back. <laughs> this is like so weird. <laughs> I like having you here. And uh, Kuba's sleeping right there, and I'm going to bed now. Anyway, guys, I will see you tomorrow in tomorrow's next daily vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please click that red subscribe button down below if you haven't done so already. She's trying to call Kuba over. Oh, he's going. How rude. How rude. Come on, Kuba, you can do it. There you go. How rude. All right, guys, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.